sweating is about to happen. Today in the wood yard, it's a thousand degrees. I'm gonna split this wood right now. I do not know how it's possible, but today is even warmer than yesterday. Yesterday was like 92 or three it hit. And right now it's already, probably it's gotta be close to 90 degrees and it's morning and it's supposed to get hotter. And the worst part, there's zero wind today. Well, I shouldn't say that. The leaves are moving just a little tiny bit up there, but I feel nothing down here. It's warm. So what I did yesterday, I brought the splitter down into this corner because I have this, this load, it's a trail load full of wood here that I'm gonna split first. And if I get this done and still feel sassy, then I'm gonna head up over there and I'm gonna start working on all that oak. That's uh, three loads over there. Um, of all wood that I cut for free. This is all free wood. This is all from the same spot. And I did drag my canopy down here. There it is. And I'm gonna put that up somewhere right in here because I'm gonna throw the wood into this pile right over here. So I'm gonna set the canopy up somewhere kind of right over the top of this stuff. I'll work on this side. I always like working on this side. It's the opposite of the engine um, because when I'm over here, um, I don't have the heat that's coming off of the engine, off the exhaust and off of this um, I don't know if it's a cooler or whatever it is, but there's blast of heat comes off of this thing. So you're standing right here. Basically, it's it's like having a, a heat gun blasting at you all day. So I'm going to work off to this side as much as I can um, today. So here we go. Going to make these small right now. The shelter has been popped up world of difference very nice like i said yesterday it's it feels 10 degrees cooler being out of the sun and where the sun is right now is it'd be nice if it was a little bit farther you know more shade that way but the sun's going to go that direction so i actually gain shade this way as i go and uh, i'm in a good spot right here because i'm going to be right in here and i'll just work the wood that direction and uh, sweating is about to happen right now <laughs> Well, there you go. 
the job down in this area is complete. I just finished splitting. That took longer than I thought it was going to. There was a lot of crotches, a lot of odd pieces, and a lot of them busted up as I was going. I threw all the chunks over here into a wheelbarrow. Like I mentioned last night, a lot of you think I'm just throwing them on the ground. I'm actually usually throwing them towards the wheelbarrow or to a pile that is going to be hauled away eventually. And my cookie crib is right over there, so that's where they're gonna go, and then all this will end up in there too. Yeah, this whole pile, this was all free wood, this whole section here. And that last load I got was from a guy that I met and said he had some trees and I, I cut, cut those. Um, there was the big oaks you saw just recently, with the twin oaks that I cut down and the ash tree and the limb that broke off one of them. That's uh, what some of this wood is from. The other part of it was from wood that I got for free from a guy that my brother met and he, there's, I think there's another 50, 60 oak trees to cut. We only cut, I think, four or five trail loads full um, each that we split. So now I'm gonna take the splitter from back here and I'm gonna wheel it up into this pile and move my, um, my tent uh, up into this area because this is bright sunshine. This will be sunny till pretty much the end of the day because that way is west So the Sun is gonna go that direction, but I got all this to split So I think I'm gonna clear this area out down over here um, That you see right over in this area. I'm gonna clear all this stuff out here. Maybe build a couple um, Pallet cribs right away and put one right here put one right here I got a stump to deal with but that's okay and I'm gonna throw the wood this direction and I'm going to start splitting on this. And this is all those, what's uh, uh, the first bunch that I got from that, the twin trees that I cut down. Uh, this is just from two oaks. Actually, part of it was over that stuff I just split, about half of it. And there's still another truckload left for me to go get all from uh, one tree here. And this could end up being, I think I figured it out, it's like 15 or 16 face cords. So like five full cords I got from those two trees. Well, had a common base, but two trees, but a lot of wood. It was all free and I got it on trips when I was going to do something else. I would just stop and pick it up. So now I'm gonna get uh, this stuff here, put into the crib and I'm gonna push the splitter up over there to that pile and we're gonna start splitting again. Fun never ends, does it? Well, I just finished completing all the prep work I needed to do so that I can split again. I wheeled the splitter back up in here and I migrated my tent thing. I was able just to drop it down and go inside and just kind of stand up and walk with it. And I carried it all the way up here. So I got my canopy in place. And I just built these two ends here, pallet ends. And uh, I've got enough to do a full cord right here and enough to do a full cord right here and uh, kind of just continue with the oak because that's what this is. And so I can get two full cords in here and I'll probably need for sure a third a third one right here and maybe even a fourth one eventually um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by splitting the wood right here I'm not going to let it fall off the end like I usually do I'm actually going to chuck it over here so then it can be stacked over so I'll throw it right in a pile right there and let it kind of just pile that direction and then I'll as I as I move into the pile then I'll start chucking it over here right over in that area I'll clear that out a little bit so I got a spot to throw it so it's stackable right there then so a little bit more work than it really needs to be it's like I've said before I always like to split right where I'm going to stack it let the wood fall right off the end of the splitter so I can grab it and then stack it but I don't want it obviously out in the, the drive here out in this area I want it to be back in here so I'm gonna have to chuck it for a while till I get a bunch that I get yeah, like maybe you know a third of the way into the pile there and then I'll be able to turn the splitter around and maybe have it so that the table end is up in here and then let the wood fall that direction and then just kind of work that way into the pile so splitting is going to happen again it is toasty out here because I'm out in bright sun now and there's no shade here at all and it's like 91 2 3 degrees I don't know all I know is it's hot I got shorts on today so I'm looking pretty cool not really. Um, my little chicken legs are probably going to get burnt, but I'm much cooler than wearing jeans. So here we go again, splitting time.
so there it is the uh, pile is over there that's where I've got my pallet so I can stack them I just brought the I started back over here and I brought the splitter around so now the pieces can just fall off the end and then I'll bring the splitter around over here and everything can just kind of go that direction so I got I don't know maybe a third of the pile done or so if I had to guess maybe a quarter something like that uh, the splitter just ran out of gas and I went through uh, this last week two five gallon cans and I am out of gas so now I gotta go get some gas so I think for today that's about all it's gonna happen I got uh, my single wedge out because I got some tough ones here these two and then these two you can see their crotches where there was a branch growing out and I tried to split them I tried to run the the four way into them and it just it, it wouldn't go and I didn't feel like fighting it which I could have turned them and you know took pieces off but uh, when I get tough ones like that what I like to do is just take the uh the four-way wedge off and put the single one on and I'll just take all those crotches and throw them off to the side so when I get done with the four-way with all the regular wood the easy stuff I will then put the single wedge on and then I can slice right through that stuff no problem so still got a lot to go and the shelter has been awesome to work in um, now the sun is just starting to set over there so I'm getting some sunlight and I can't even get rid of it anymore so I'm gonna lower the shelter down and secure it for tonight and then I'm gonna come back in the morning and I'm going to go that direction into the wood. So that is it for today, folks. Thanks for being here. Please hit the buttons. Hit them all. The like, the subscribe, the share. Make a comment. Tell me something good. Tell me something bad. That'd be awesome if you did. And tomorrow, I'm going to be back here. So you know what that means. You need to be here, too. Because I can't do this without you. you got to be here. So we'll see you tomorrow. Between now and then, get outside, get cotton. Good night, Irene.